All right, hello. This is some Sims gameplay in the top lane, and uh, today this one's a little little special because it's a it's another quirky top, right? This is the second quirky top I've gone against in uh, Plat Diamond, and uh, it's Inverted Composer. If you don't know who Inverted Composer is, he's one of the original like singed players, right? That had um, a lot of the guides, right? I think he did like two guides, one on solo mid, right? And then another one, a Lol King, which no longer exists. Um, he was like an OG, OG, uh, singed master player. Uh, I, I don't even know what rank he would have been considered. I think probably like Grandmasters, maybe at that time, maybe maybe Challenger. I, I don't really know. I think it was before there's actual, you know, Challenger. I think it was before that. Um, then he moved on to Yorick, and then. Uh, some random stuff like 80 Soraka and now he's a, a quirky top player uh, Which is kind of interesting, but hey, it was kind of kind of weird. It was kind of cool to like run into him in uh, in solo queue um, I, I Remember reading his guide for singed and I was like dude this this knowledge about singed like you wouldn't have gotten anywhere else right so um yeah, so he, he's like an OG, like, Singe legend, I would say. Oh, go for the flip, get the Rue off. Um, obviously, not enough damage, right? But it's okay. Alright, don't worry about it. It's Quirky Top. Uh, he also exhausted me for whatever reason. Uh, I don't know what that's about. But, uh, yeah, Quirky cooldowns are very, very low, actually. Um, he W'd just, like, the gank before, and then he W'd again. Um, so, uh, our jungler is Ghost Lane, uh, YouTuber, uh, known for his, like, 1v5 videos, where, like, one challenger versus, like, five silvers, or, you know, two, two diamonds versus, like, you know, five, five gold players, or whatever, um, who's still uploaded, you know, uh, I, I went to high school with him, so, yeah. Anyways, um... Another thing that Inverted Composer has done is he works on Lolmath, um, which is, which was like a channel in a, in a website that would just find the best builds for each game, right? Just based off stats, right? Uh, and occasionally I would, I used to use that site a lot actually, um, but it doesn't factor in actives, I think, at least from what I know, like... I don't know actually. I, I can't say that. I think the the website's really good. I think you can just look it up if you look up like, I think it's League of Legends item optimizer, like lol item optimizer. I have it. I'll link it in the comments or something if I remember to do so. But uh, he also worked on that and most of his guides for Singed, Yorick, whatever else. Right, he would uh, use a lot of math in it because. Like, that's important. It was all about stats. Obviously, um, those kind of guides uh, kind of fall out of favor because so many things change, right? Item gets reworked, item gets removed, or, like, champion gets, like, nerfed or buffed or whatever, or, like, they change the way minions work or change jungle. Like, you know, th those guides need, like, constant updates, and obviously, you know, you can't do that because... You know how much how much League of Legends you gonna play, huh? You gonna be writing one guide for the rest of your league career? I don't know. So um, the Singe guide that he originally wrote uh, on Lol King um, no longer exists. Uh, I don't know if it's archived somewhere, if it's put into like video form or something. But I don't. I haven't seen it in a while because Lol King died um, a few years ago. Um, just because all the investors kind of like pulled out, you know, not really making any money, the, the site was filled with ads, right? That was the only way they could survive for the time being was just stuffing the the site with ads. But there, there isn't really, you know, much you could do there. And then that made the site unusable as a result, and people just stopped using Lol King, people started using OPGG, they started using... Mobifier, they started using like everything else other than Lol King because it was so laggy. Which is re really, really sad, but uh, that, that's just kind of what happens. Um, it The site really just needed to be optimized. I remember like refusing to use Lol King because it was just so laggy. 
to like try to find a guide or find a build or something you like look stuff up and then like oh well you're gonna have to sit here for another like two minutes to load up the site and like it wasn't you know not everyone was on great computers it wasn't even like because of your computer or anything it was just the site was really really uh flawed um but yeah uh jungler is ghost lane he is my duo for the next uh two games after this one uh, which I'll, I'll upload because these are some interesting games. I just wanted to say that Inverted Composer was like, you know, basically like a mentor to me, all right? Not that I've ever spoke to him or anything. I don't think he uses Reddit or Twitter or anything. I, I, I don't know what he's been up to. But apparently he's, uh, he's playing in Diamond 4 with Corky Top. So obviously he's, uh, he, he knows what he's doing to, to some extent. Uh, with a quirky top, which is not common, but I, I I don't know. It's it's quirky top. I don't understand. Um, he is running phase rush. Apparently, he was running glacial augment at one point. Um, kind of kind of makes sense. Like you slow someone and then you go da 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 da. Right? You just kind of shred people, and he does a lot of damage. Quirky is like not, you know, he's not weak. He is very very strong. And here, he doesn't auto me once, right? Which is good, and then he gets to just walk away. He pops exhaust, which is like, whatever, right? Because that's the that's same same cooldown as my, my ghost. And uh, and then he just walks out. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm not going to bother chasing. I'm slowed, right? I'm slowed by the exhaust. He, he already used W, which I interrupted, but he's just going to walk away, which is fine. I, I don't have an issue with that. It's not like... He's too annoying, but yeah. Here's a TP going bot lane. Pop in the ghost, get immediately condemned by Vayne, hopefully to pull this cane back. Very, very nice, right? Back up a little bit. Nidalee coming a little close, right? Probably wants to force a dive, but I'm like, mm, Zareth is coming. Probably not, right? Now, what are we building now, huh? What are we building now? We're going ninja tabbies. Um, the reason for this is because Corky autos, Kane kind of autos, Vayne autos, right? Uh, Zareth isn't going to be focusing me, I doubt it, right? He's going to be going for squishies as long as I'm not, like, walking directly into him, right? Oh, yeah, let me swap this. Uh, we have a Galio mid who is Predator. <laughs> We have a Predator Galio mid. He just goes over the wall. I don't bother chasing. Uh, I don't have flash. I didn't take flash. I take ghost and TP, uh, which is the standard for what I like, right? I like the ghost. Ghost provides a lot of stuff that flash doesn't. Flash is used once. You can use it aggressively. You can use it defensively, or you can use it to just be annoying, right? But ghost, lower cooldown, speed lasts a lot longer right stuff like that which is very very nice um some people don't realize that it's still quite strong even after i think you got a nerf like somewhat recently but uh i'll get back to you on that so quirky uh w's uses his package uh doesn't hit me right it doesn't do anything to me because he does it behind me so i run into it i guess but i just don't i just sort of face take him <laughs> I just, I just like, okay, whatever. Uh, Nidalee really wants to force a dive here. Uh, Kane is going in on Galio. A TP comes out from Xerath. Uh, I tried flipping Kane. I swear to God, I flipped, I, it went for the animation and it canceled. Because he went into the wall, which was like, like two inches over to the left instead of like near me. And it didn't go through. Um, so nobody loses anything, you know, not really, other than like some sums. Aside from that, that was just like a zero for zero. But yeah, um, I don't know, maybe we can find the guides for the inverted composer. But those, there was like some really, really old tricks and stuff. It talked about fling locking, right? We talked about the sky fling where you would flip someone and auto them in that flip, right? 
while they're flying over you. This this was really useful for Conqueror. Uh, this was f obviously from way before though. This is from like season two. Uh, it was like a guide from like season two. It was kind of crazy. Um, Kane walks through the wall, and the you know like what? <laughs> So I flip Kane a little bit away from Nidalee, you know, maybe maybe he's trying to do something. I don't know if it saved uh, Ghost or not, but eh. Uh, Corky gets uh, the Rift Herald, kind of unfortunate, but like he took it with a with a Q, I think. I don't know where the Smite was. Was Smite down? I don't know. And speed this up a little bit. Uh, Corky hurts. Okay, don't forget that. All right. I don't. I don't know if you guys are facing Corky tops a lot. Um, probably not. It's it's an interesting matchup. He's just another one of those ADCs top lane. Uh, he clears very well. He does a lot of damage. Um, as long as his W isn't interrupted, he's hard to not lock down. Um, also, what what is going on here, huh? Why, why is my like why is there stuff that's like see-through <laughs> like this is like this is like some low res like I don't know interesting um, I don't know what I'm doing here I think I'm just AFK I feel like uh, there's like a dive coming on right because obviously they have Rift Herald okay so they want to dive so they can take the tower and do more damage to the second tower I walk forward instead of walking towards the left and I get two tapped right. very very bad play coming from me um, I should have sidestepped the cane W right which was it sealed my fate if I dodged that and got the flip off of Kane that might have actually turned out a lot better and I might have you know survived at least a little longer Kane obviously had ult but he would actually need to hit me before right so unfortunately i die there um but that's kind of okay like he gets two towers for that which is really really unfortunate but it allows me to just like shove the lane and he can't just be stuck here right nidalee is a very very powerful jungler that can just kind of two tap people all right so if he if he pushes up and if he's like near our jungle he nidalee can just chuck a spear um Sometimes, but yeah, um, this, uh, Galio, I muted, I think, three minutes into the game. I think it was three minutes into the game I, I muted him, because he was spam pinging, and he was being toxic in chat, right? He was just, like, complaining about jungle, or complaining about whatever, he was, like, constantly pinging, uh, Nidalee level versus Kane level, um, makes sense, right? Uh, Kane did get an early, like, essentially a triple kill which was you know not that not that good um i tp towards mid uh i want to protect this ash this ash is very important is the ash is actually our win condition right because obviously it's not galia this this player is not trying um yeah i tp uh i want to go for the corky so I cut him off by going upwards so that he doesn't just go over the wall into me, right? And then Ash Lulu pick him up for the kill. 300 gold in their pocket. Sounds good to me. All right. I, I don't get an assist, but it was it was all about positioning. Hmm. Yeah. So this game doesn't look very good, uh, 1-6 mid lane doesn't look nice, um, I really wouldn't like that for anyone. <laughs> he's toxic too, he's running Predator on Galio, which honestly I've never seen before. Like what is Predator Galio? I don't know. Uh, I throw W onto Vayne and she just sort of dies. Um, she couldn't take Thresh Lantern, uh, and she was getting whittled down slowly by Ash, right? Here, um, obviously Kane is like across the wall somewhere or nearby. So you need to be careful there. Uh, 
Ash is kind of... I think Ash is, like, so safe. Ash is such a strong AD, dude. Kind of crazy. Alright. Galio resets his gold. Oh, no. But it's okay. Uh, Ash is 6-1-3. Already, essentially, already has second item. Uh, it's 17 minutes in. Already has that sense reaver. You know, their bot lane is not doing a lot. And it's Lulu. Lulu with... Um, you know, Lulu with with this stuff is like, it's kind of crazy. I don't know if this game, the game is a little loud. Let me turn it down to like 35 maybe. I need to get my audio like properly, you know, figured out. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Seems like, uh, I don't know. He's, he's just... Inverted Composer really didn't do anything this game. I, I don't know. He, he scales. He does a lot of damage. But I don't remember him popping off. I don't know if that... If, I don't know. Maybe maybe he just really likes Corky Top, dude. <laughs> just like how he really liked uh, Yorick when Yorick came out. Alright, running towards Vayne. Not, not, you know... Not trying to take the kill, right? We're just making it easier for Ash to finish up. And Ash lifesteal is disgusting. Oh my god, that is that is wild. <laughs> that is wild. Yeah, win condition is Ash. Uh fairly obvious, right? I pop Ghost and then they pop, uh, and then Kane flashes away. I don't know if you could see that. Uh, Kane flashes away because he's scared of getting flipped, I guess. But I'm staying with this Ash Lulu for now um, and essentially escorting them out so that they don't just die. Uh, I, I, like, if Ash dies in a fight, we lose the fight, I think. We don't have any damage or, like, consistent damage. We're all AP. Right here, I tank the hook for Ash. Ash is getting to free reign. Uh, just shoot whatever. Ash gets condemned, loses a lot of HP. Everyone just sort of dies, but you know we pick up Thresh. We we pick up Vayne. It was a it was a two for three, which isn't that great, right? But hey, Inverted Composer did very very well there. Um, press the press the W down the middle. Splitting the fight, pushing Ash to the side, who then flashed in on Vayne, and then just sort of died because she was kind of in the middle of it all. And then splitting Lulu away from Ash, which was very, very important. Yeah, we're just we're just going to stare at her dead body for now. <laughs> uh, yeah. Ash goes for an arrow and lands it and kills Kane. And this is not going to be the first time. She is going to send arrows down mid like there's no tomorrow. And it's just going to keep happening. Right, with Kane down, this is a good Baron. Right, 20 minutes, it just came up. Right, Corky, not a whole lot of. Uh, he doesn't have package, right? I'm taking a lot of damage though, so like. The moment that they saw this, this was doomed, right? Uh, Galio uh, ease into the wall for whatever reason. We get Baron, right? Uh, Nidalee trapped in the hole, right? Gets condemned, and then Galio ults in. Gets a good knockup, goes for Vayne. Um, Should have just autoed. I think that would have been enough. But Ash, Lulu, Singed, survive with Baron, and back off. They they only lose Corky for that gauge, but after but we still have Baron, right? Um, it was really really bad though. That that Galio, I don't know. Galio was just like tilted or like hyper trolling or whatever. I don't know. He's like these players are like it's. I'm just so jaded, you know. I, I see these players and then I'm like, oh, okay, well it's just another another guy who doesn't care, right? 
They're usually like diamond four, zero OP, somehow still sitting around. And like they they just like stop trying after like two minutes and they're like, dude, I'm not getting a gank. Or like, I'm not getting a blue buff for I don't know. But yeah, um here we are. You see Ash has arrow. I throw W right onto Zareth. There's no way he can flash because he was grounded from my W. The stun helped lock him in, right? There was no way he was going to escape. Unless, like, he suddenly ghosted. Like, there's no way. Nearly in a bad spot here. Right, nearly in not a great spot. Uh, Kane was right there, so she immediately flashed away. Right? Yeah, right here, we are a... Essentially like a poke poke team for a bit um, Just because of Nidalee and and Ash Ash gets knocked up and takes half her HP and damage from Corky gain but She just heals it all back, which is Not crazy good spear onto Kane Kind of sending him back a little bit and uh, we, we're, we're grouped, right? We don't have Galio. Galio died earlier because he was split pushing in bot lane. Uh, at the W down, Kane smites the Raptor. I, I don't I don't know why, but yeah, sure, you can do that. Ash wants to go for another arrow. There he is. And he flashes and dies. This is Diamond Platt. I do not know why he flashed when he was slowed like that. But okay. Galio comes in with a very, very interesting TP. Not sure what that was going to achieve other than to, you know, group with us. It's still weird though. It's still weird though. Yeah, now we now we can just back off, I think. Alright. Maybe go for the turret. Maybe a little extra damage on the turret. Nidalee doing quite a bit of damage. Has the Rod of Ages plus uh, the jungle AP item. Nidalee almost gets hit by the hook. I walked forward just in case it went like farther. Right? And I've actually would have been taking the hit. Alright, we're waiting on minions to push. Kane sort of being very very aggressive here. Those were a really really good knock up onto Ash. Ash just kind of in the middle. Redemption comes in, kills Ash. Um, sadly, the team fight was split really really badly, and uh, Galio goes in on the the enemy bot lane, right, and doesn't achieve anything. Um, that was cut out. It was more focused on the Ash, but we can go back. They, they pick up Dragon. Ooh, this game is not looking good. Right? Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I, I tried to help Galio out. Obviously, didn't work out. Um, he's just kind of not really focused or not paying attention. I'm not really sure, but uh, the fight was very, very far away, and he just sort of stayed at mid lane in the middle extent instead of going into the jungle where ash and everyone else was so i tried to back him up you know maybe we could do something but sadly we could not uh gosu gets away um very unfortunate pops ults pops heal right doesn't use flash but gets away with the with a really good lantern coming out from Thresh. So well done, Thresh. Uh, but yeah, here we are. We see Corky top lane, just sort of pushing, just sort of farming. We want to go in, but probably not the best idea. I believe a fight is coming up soon. Kane sort of just 
getting caught, right? He's only one over here. Um, I flip him out of his queue, right? Your vein is sort of just inting, right? She just sort of ran in. Uh, I zone off Corky because Corky is actually like the highest amount of damage on the enemy team. Flip him back, stand right on top of him. You know, give him a little auto, a little smack in the cheek, right? I have predators going. Dodge to the right. Don't dodge the the flay, but that's because you know you can aim it. Flip Zareth back. Zareth dies. Almost one shot goes to lane as deadly. I think that was everything. He just threw everything down, and that was all of all of our HP. Now we go for Baron. Um, very very straightforward. Everyone is down. Ash does a lot of damage. Deadly has healing. Lulu is here with us. I can tank essentially forever. Um, because my regen is really nice and Nidalee is helping out. Um, Thresh actually almost gets the steal there. If that was like a little bit afterwards, right? A little bit afterwards, he actually might have stolen it with that hook. It, it was 200 HP. He was he almost got it. Yeah. So uh, this upcoming uh, dragon is kind of key, right? Um, they are going to get a Cloud Soul, right, which gives them a lot of movement speed when they ult. Plus, a regular Cloud Dragon reduces ultimate cooldown, which is, uh, kind of crazy. I think it's nuts. They already have two, and the next one, I think, is also Cloud. So, that's, what, a flat 30% off, I think? Is that what it is? Um, maybe one day I'll be able to play a game where I can just do a bunch of, uh, ultimate CDR, right? But, ooh, Lulu, bunch of ultimate CDR and I can have perma ult as singed, sounds fun, uh, not exactly, uh, practical cause you can't really predict, uh, what the dragons are until you get into game. I pop ghost run forward right ash misses arrow i flip the guy run forward right we're just sort of walking back and forth not doing a whole lot okay we're just here right yeah Leo sort of just dies oh well but the thing is he does not matter it's all about ash all right i still have righteous glory here so if I do want to, I can force another flip if they get too close. And I was hoping to do so, like right there, because uh, Zareth walked up a little bit. Pop Righteous Glory, run at Zareth, flip him back. He gets very, very scared, but still dies, right? Throw W down on no one. <laughs> but uh, Ash is free reigning and just gets to uh, do whatever the hell she wants. Um, I honestly did not notice Vayne was here until like last second, and I was like, oh, there's a Vayne. And then Vayne dies. Nice try, Gosu. Maybe try again. But yeah, that was a, that was a game against Inverted Composer. Uh, if you can, please link me his guides if you see them lying around. Um, but he, he's like an OG, like singed master god, okay? So, uh, yeah, that was that was a game against a Viru composer. I hope he's doing well. Um, and uh, yeah, that's that's gonna be it. And uh, onwards to uh, to the outro. Like, comment, subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe.